Piedmont Lithium shares look at that up just around one and a half percent today after inking an investment deal with LG Chem. Now the deal was spurred by the Inflation Reduction Act, which has stipulations about where products and EV batteries come from. That has certainly been a boon to companies like Piedmont Lithium, whose shares are up huge year to date and up huge really over the past year. We want to bring in Keith Phillips, Piedmont Lithium's CEO. Year to date, you're looking at gains of just about 68 percent. Keith, it's great to have you here. Certainly a huge deal for your company. Talk about the significance of this and where we are just in terms of the adoption of energy that we need in order to meet some of the goals laid out from the Biden administration. Well, listen, thanks for having me. We're very excited. LG Chem, as you may know, they're the biggest battery producer outside of China. They're making massive investments in the U.S. in battery capacity and cathode capacity. Uh, so had to have them become one of our biggest shareholders, invest in our business and partner with us as our biggest customer uh, for the time being is, is really exciting. They're great. The project uh, we're a partner of in Quebec is called North American Lithium. The spodumene concentrate we produce there you know, goes into lithium hydroxide that goes into batteries. And having LG as a customer is fantastic. It'll be the first new producer of battery raw materials in North America in decades. So it's uh, it's great news for us. Good to see you, sir. So we're about a year removed from some really bold comments from RJ Scarinch, the CEO of Rivian, when he said in terms of the existing supply chain for the EV batteries, we're going to need 90 to 95 percent of the supply chain does not exist. Um, are we much closer to meeting those goals? Not really. I mean, we're making progress. It's interesting. I heard your, your prior conversation about charging infrastructure and everything else. The biggest issue facing the EV business is not demand. It's not charging. It's not EV production. It's battery production and the raw materials that go into the batteries. It takes a couple of years to build a car plant. It takes a couple of years to build a battery plant. It generally takes a decade or more to advance a lithium project, you know, to get a mine permitted, funded, engineered and built and, and ramped up. It takes a long time. So I think the industry... I think you'll see demand for electric vehicles will outstrip supply for decades to come. The supply will be held back because people won't be able to get the lithium and other battery materials they need for the cars. Wow. Wow. So, Keith, then how long, I guess, until the U.S. battery supply chain is self-sufficient in the U.S. from your projection? Sounds like we could be decades away from that. Yeah, maybe not decades. And I think it's really, it's a, it's a global issue. It's not just a U.S. issue. I mean, right now, 85%, 80% of the lithium raw material comes from Australia and Chile. A lot of that material, particularly the Australian material, goes to China to be processed. There are a lot of projects in the U.S. and in Canada and in Africa and in South America, really all over the place uh, to bring, bring material online. It'll generally take time. We're lucky. This project in Quebec is a brownfield project. It was built about a decade ago. It's operated off and on in the past. It'll come online pretty quickly here in the next several weeks. Uh, the next one in line is probably a couple of years behind. And then there are several kind of slotted to come, but those will just be playing catch up to demand. I mean, right now, we think we're going to need about 40 times more lithium hydroxide in the U.S. by the second half of this decade than we produce today, 40 times more. Wow. So a lot of that will have to come inter internationally. Uh, some of it certainly can come from friendly countries like Canada, like Ghana, where we have a project, and like Australia. Uh, so uh, it'll, be, it'll be a battle. I think if you look out to the 2040s, I think you're going to have a lot of discoveries and lithium projects advanced. I think lithium will be a market like copper growing nicely with uh, you know a good opportunity for people to uh, invest. Uh, between now and then, I think you're going to see supply shortages, elevated prices, and for those that can get into production, an opportunity to really uh, generate cash flow for shareholders. Really interesting conversation. Piedmont Lithium CEO Keith Phillips. Appreciate you being with us, sir. Thanks.